हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फाइव ऑफ वेब एपीआई इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट स्वागर यूआई इन एस पी डॉट एंड वेब एपीआई रेस्टफुल सर्विस सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट फाइव प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट फोर ऑफ दैट इज एस पी डॉट एंड वेब एपीआई ट्यूटोरियल दैट इज एस गेट पोस्ट पुट एंड डिलीट भॉब्स इन एस पी डॉट एंड वेब एपीआई You can get this video in my playlist called sp.net web api tutorial. So in this session we'll discuss that is what is swagger ui and how to add swashbuckle extension to sp.net web api project. So guys here I'll I'll uh, tell you about the step by step. So this is my web api project which one I have already implemented in my previous videos. and here my project name is web api coding and here i have i got uh five http bobs that is http get and one is http get method with id and http post http put and http delete so here i want to do the swagger ui installation for my project so what i'll do here is just right click on your project and go to manage new get packages and here what i'll do here go to browse and here you need to type here swashbuckle and here after uh, getting this swashbuckle extension please go to here and you can see this swashbuckle uh, option you can see here right and this swashbuckle extension i already have installed so that it is showing the uninstall but uninstall option so if you uh, uh, begin begin to this swashbuckle extension or it is not installed for your web api project then it will show the install and install it and as per th as, as of now the uh, the install version is 5.6.0 so i already have installed so no need to install again so this is the process how to get the swashbuckle and install the swashbuckle for swagger ui and once you install successfully the swashbuckle for your web api project how to get the proof that swashbuckle is installed properly so there is one option is go to app start folder and here you can see swagger config.cs file is created automatically right and here you can see this uh, config uh, co configuration part of swagger config.cs file and one more is how to check the install uh, swagger ui is i can i can check here reference folder and here you can see one dll is fine found so that is swashbuckle.core so that makes sure that the swag swagger swashbuckle is installed and the swagger ui is uh, configured properly for your web api project so that is the two steps you need to confirm your swashbuckle to ac to access the swagger ui for your web api project after then the what what you'll do just uh, right click on it and build your solution and uh, right to make whatever changes have has been made in your project it will uh, successfully Uh, build build the uh, project so once it the build is succeeded you will what you will do here is just go you can see here run your project right web api project just click here so now what i'll do here i will navigate to one path is that is swagger ui index and guys you can see one swagger ui is here with a green color header and the swagger this is called a swagger ui so swagger is is useful for the documentation of your api methods so what is the web api coding this shows it is the name of our project web api coding here right this is the web, uh, web api project name that's what is showing web api coding and the values values is nothing but the controller because in my web api project there is one controller is values 
one API controller is values controller and one another one is MVC controller that is home controller. So Swagger UI shows only the API controller uh, in Swagger UI uh, documentation page. So if you have more than one API uh, web API controllers, then it will show, show these controllers in your Swagger UI documentation page. So here, if I uh, click on this, you can see get, post, delete, get, put, right? And there's five methods. So if you if you go to my values controller, it shows the get method. And you can see here, get method here. And if you go to get method with ID, so you can see here, get method with, with ID. And uh, for HTTP post method, you can see one post method here. And for put method, you can see in Swagger UI, it, you can see one put method here with ID and uh, and for delete, uh, you can see in Swagger UI, there is one delete method with ID. So let's uh, see uh, how to use this uh, HTTP methods in Swagger UI. First, I'll show you the get operation. So I click here. So guys, here you can see the response class status is 200 and here response content type is application underscore j uh, under application slash json so uh, in you remember in my la in my previous videos i was using fiddler so there i manually uh, type the content type is application forward slash json or application forward slash xml for getting the response so here swagger uh, default provide you so no need to type a for a uh, manually so what I'll do here, just click on try it out. So here what you can see one request URL is generated, right? And here the response body. So here I can see the three string values that is Satya 0, Satya 1 and Satya 2. And response code is 200. And this is the response headers. So Swagger UI uh, provides the user more details on the various uh, parts of API to, to test the API methods that is request URL, response body, response code and response headers. So these options I already have described in my previous videos. So I already have get the response of get method. So let's uh, check the get method with ID. So here I can see here content type is application forward slash json so get get method with id you can get one text box here right so what i'll do here i will mention here one and try it out so that the index position of one the value will return so i can get the response is satya one here and response code is 200 okay right and next one is i'll check for post operation so for post operation we need we need one form uh, no this one right uh, from body string value so from body this is not nothing the text box and i want to add the new value called satya new with double quotation and the content type is application for our slash json and by default it is 204 no content because the return type is void here for post method I already have discussed in my previous in my previous videos using Fiddler. So uh, what I'll do, I want to add this new string value to my list so that I'll click here, try it out. So guys, here you can see uh, I got the re request URL. Response body is no content. Response code 204. So my uh, new new string is added successfully so how to check it go to get method and try it out so guys here you can see previously we have three string values satya 0 1 and 2 and the new value is added here that is satya new right so this is the post method operation and i'll show you the put method operation here so for put method we need two values right here i'll show you in the code one is id parameter one is from body string value so i want to select here as 4 0 1 2 3 okay 3 value and i want to update that is satya new to satya update so in my index 3 there is one string value is satya new is there right so i want to update to satya new to satya update here content type is application forward slash json 
I want to click here try it out so I got the response code 204 no content and my uh, string value is successfully updated so how to check it go to get method and click on try it out so guys here you can see satya new string value is updated to satya update one right okay now uh, the final uh, get final http method is delete so for delete uh, you can see here we need one id parameter here right so here what i'll do i want to delete the index position 3 that is satya update so i put here 3 in the text box value and i'll i'll mention i'll click here try it out so i got the response code 204 no content because the return type is void for delete method that's why i've got the response code 204 no content and how to check it the string value is deleted or not i'll go to my get method and try it out so guys here you can see we have the three string value satya 0 satya 1 and satya 2 and the index position at 3 that is the satya update is deleted successfully from the list so in this way we, we can perform the you know http methods get get of id post put of id and delete of id operation using swagger ui so this is the mo most user friendly rather than the fiddler so no need to uh, mention your content type because by default it will uh, it will give you the content types okay and this is more user friendly and many company and organizations are implementing the swagger ui for for their web api projects okay now i'll go to my presentation here so what is Swagger UI? Swagger UI is a powerful documentation tool for RESTful services. It is a framework for describing and consuming RESTful APIs. It keeps the documentation system of methods, parameters, and models, which is tightly integrated into the server code. We can add also Swashbuckle to any web API project. Then we can easily customize the generated specifications along with the UI, or Swagger UI. So Swagger UI uses the Swashbuckle extension to display the documentation part. So this is my YouTube channel. Subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp, SQL Server, MVC, uh, Angular, Azure, and DevOps. So in this video, what we have learned today is what is Swagger UI and what, what is the steps to add Swashbuckle to SP.NET Web API project to get the swagger ui documentation page so guys that's all for today thank you for listening have a great day